Hello everybody, this is Greg. I always say that, but anyway, because it is me, I guess, so that's why I say it. I want to show you guys a really cool thing here called a gyroscope, as you see. Wonderful, wonderful gyroscope. And I, I used to have one of these when I was back in um, seventh grade. And what I did was that um, I broke it accidentally because I fell on it because I had it in my, what do you call it, those, um, those pouch thingies that you have. I can't say the name of it. But anyway, so what happens is like, you know, I had one of those little pouch thingies and it was in there and I went to go, um, to school one day. I thought it was the coolest experiment ever, the whole thing with the gyroscope. And it, um, well, it broke. But, so I got one. Got one from the Hall of Science. And this is so cool. It's one of my favorite experiments. And uh, I just wanted to put it here. This like our microgreens right here. And our microgreens are, um, you know, have all different things we've been doing. Usually the site of, of most of my stories and things. But I just wanted to share that with quick. I was going to show you this, this uh, gyroscope. So I have a little pedestal thing here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and just pull the gyroscope things right here and then show you the rigidity in space. Boom! Rigidity in space. Feel that motion. Boo boo. That's right. Rigidity in space. This is a gyroscope. That's right. It's one of the. Down here. And it has a little bit of no procession, but when you put it, you can actually. Whoa! And it's slowing up. I, should, I guess I should have just done that. But it's going to take me a second just to, 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 you know, to get it back in gear with the string. But as I'm doing that, I'm going to show you another thing here. This here is a thermometer. It's a thermometer based upon air density. And what makes it really cool is that when the temperature rises, temperature rises, or temperature gets hot, um, I guess the test means rises, what happens is that you have this situation here where the, the, um, the little liquid, the predetermined little drops of you know, weights, they tell you what temperature it is. There's some more here. And what I, was, what I had before was that it was actually like floating above. They had some of them with the density and the, um, the, the barometric pressure and the density in the air causes these things to rise and fall. No, no gravity needed. No gravity needed at all. All right, so there's that one. So it's gonna take me a second just to go ahead and reposition this here. So I'm gonna go do this. And this here is um, my this here is my uh, gyroscope, and I'm going to go ahead and just finish this up here. Let's just thread this through right here. I'm going to put this jammy right back in so you can see it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my... got to thread it through the needle. 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 Okay, so here it is. Here, it just doesn't want to go in. Okay, good, it's in. Now that it's in, I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, goodness. Da, 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 da. Come around the corner for me. Alright, okay, so here it goes. Gyroscope. Here's my gyroscope. And so, this time I'm going to do it again. Okay, so when I pull it, it's going to go counterclockwise. The blade, the, the spin wheel. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull it. and get my finger real quick so I get a nice good tug. Okay, ready? And one, two, three. I'm gonna put this on my hand. It's too much friction. It's too much friction on my gyro. Because otherwise, it's like it, it doesn't, um, what's that word? It doesn't, uh, stay up for long. I might have to put like some kind of something in just to keep it from going or slowing down. Put some WD-40 or something. I'll be back in a moment. Hey everybody. Okay, so now I have this here, and when I I pull the string this time, it's going to be going um, clockwise. Like that's we with the clock like this. This is with the clock. So I'm going to go ahead and push pull the string on my gyroscope. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and let's engage some light speed. There you go. Ready? One. Two, hold it good. One, two, three. Wow. This is so 
fast. Still sinking fast. Whoa! Fell in the grass, y'all. It fell into the microgreens. Ow. One second. Alright, so here we go again. And this is attempt number three. And what happens? I have it around my finger. This right here. So I'm gonna. I hope it doesn't, like, you know. Retract and go back in. That would be very bad for my finger. Okay, here goes. Ready? One, two, three, and. Okay, that's exactly why you don't have it like that. Okay, came apart. Let's try this again. Alright, that's when you pull it with too much power. Don't know your own strength there, Greggy. Alright, so, what's that here? Just this, this, this here. Alright, let's see. So, I guess it's actually. Oh, man. Let's give it a shot here. It's kind of wrapped around. You wrapped it around and re wrapped around. So, oh, look at that. Yeah. Goodness. Goodness. Okay, let's see. Let's try this again. Right there. And this wheel right here. And we're going to put it back inside this thing right there. And. Okay, we're going to have this there. Gyroscope back in its place. Gyroscope it's on this spindle. And we're going to spin that spindle here. That's what we're going to do. Okay, trying to pull too much. Ready? One, two, three, and. Here, 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 here. I'm trying to see if I can balance on the string. I don't think I pulled it hard enough. I don't think I pulled it hard enough. I don't think I pulled it hard enough. But there it goes with the, the procession. And it's... Ugh. There you go. 